Hey guys, Ragebox here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Lagaya. In the last one, we talked to Dr. Usha, and we got a new mission. In order to uh, melt the ice at Buma, we gotta go kill some kind of Shiru named Koru uh, that lives in this cave over here. Yeah, he produces all the ice, and yeah, we gotta do it a certain way, though, because he'll, like, explode and destroy everything, I guess. I mean, I, I guess it would be like an atomic bomb, I don't know, but yeah. It's called a time-space bomb. Thermal reversal. Real scientific, you know. It's Dr. Usha, he's a scientist. Anyway, we need the fire droplets to make it, and in order to get the fire droplets, you know, we gotta go to Euromaya, so... Ugh. It's a lot of plot. I still got the Astral Sword, apparently. I thought I would unequip that by now. Oh well. Uh, I guess, you know what, fuck this, I'm using Gold Gola, uh, Noah, you can just, like, Tempest Break something, and Gala, you know what, Gala, how about you Vigoro with me, yeah, is that, is that his strongest AoE spell, like, for real? Just Vigoro, like, I guess. Vigoro time! Alright, you all know the drill, time to get electrocuted. Don't resist! Bam! Jesus. Okay, so, um... Vigoro is still extremely powerful. Nice to know. Alrighty, let's continue. So, yeah, I gotta get the... Oh, there it is! You can see it! It's your Amias! Alright, well, let's just get this over with and head on in here. No more dilly-dallying. Oh, temple music. What do you know? Yeah, we're here. Fun, Gala! This must be the place! This must be Euromaius! There's strange structures in the distance. Must be Euromaius. The ancient ruins, Dr. Usha said. But Vaughn, have you noticed something unusual? Yeah. There's no mist here. That's right. There's no Genesis tree to be seen, yet the mist doesn't flow here. Those ruins must have the power to hold off the mist. No fucking way. Let's just build Euromyces all over the place. <laughs> Von Gala, there's no one here. Where could Teague be? Fon, do you remember what Dr. Usha said? Uh, <laughs> what did he say again? <laughs> You're the leader, so act like one. Oh, <sighs> what are we going to do with you? Gala! Now listen, we came here to get the fire droplets to make the time space bombs. Well, okay, I knew that part. I thought you, I thought you meant like he said something else more specific. We should dream in Euromaius to get the fire droplets from Teague. That's right. Okay, we have to dream. That's what Dr. Uchi said. At least try to remember where you are and what you have to do. Well, let's go dream like Dr. Usha told us to do. What do you mean? What are we going to do? Just lay down and try to dream? <laughs> well, let's see if Teague will actually give us the fire droplets. Von Gala! There's some weird house here. Let's go inside. Wait, Noah! Noah, wait! Don't go inside by yourself! Yeah. What are we going to do with that kid? I don't know, Gala. What, what, what are, what? Apparently, what are you going to do with us? Jeez. Yo, know, Gala, you might be the oldest, but you're, you're a jerk. Jeez. What? Car- Damn it, man, car is stalking us, man. This is creepy. Yeah. There's a book on the desk. Do you wish to read it? Sure. The cover reads, Guidelines for Shiru Trapping. Oh. Uh, Shiru come out at midnight. A trapper must therefore patrol your mice only at sunrise. Your mice is off limits from sunset to sunrise because that is when the whispers are frequent. What? A trapper must never wear a captured Shiru. All Shiru should be sent to Seoul as soon as they are caught. 
The whispers are the voices of a demon. Trapper never listened to the whispers, even in daytime. Okay, guys, I'm getting really fucking freaked out. Do we have to be here right now? Like, do we have to? The trapper must never touch the three doors on the side of Jeremiah's. Vaughn finished reading the book and put it back. Oh my god, like, what the hell? Like, what the hell? Whispers? Healing bear. Okay, cool. Kara? Dude, she left, yo. Oh my god, she's stalking us. It's so creepy. Ugh, like, first I thought Sanji was bad enough, but, uh, Kara's not bad, but I mean, why are they stalking us? The faded letters, the sign reads, Warning, your is sole territory. Do not enter without permission of the Emperor. Yeah, well, that shit doesn't matter anymore now that the mist destroyed everything. Okay. So this is Euromias. These are strange ruins indeed. I don't see any place where we could use the ruins key from Mrs. Zusha. Yeah, true, we got in here fine. There's no gate. What? Oh no, it's the whispers! Noah, what's the matter? I hear something. I hear something. It's a voice. I hear a voice. Noah. Voice? Guys, it's the whispers. Don't listen. No, guys. They're demons. Bon, Noah. I hear it too. I hear words inside my head! Oh god, it's finally happened, we're all getting schizophrenia! What? You. Was. Key. Ruins. Who has. Door. Dreams. I'm so fucking confused. Will be open. Gather at. Dream. Door. Open. What? doors, the... But... Whose voice is that? Von Gala! Did you see that light? I saw a light down there. Whoever it is, seems to have opened the door because we have the runes key. Maybe. Von, let's go inside. This must mean that this door leads to the fire droplet. All right, let's go inside. Well, all right then. So which door should we go in first? I guess this one. Shit. Okay. This is some trippy fucking shit, but we're, but we're doing it for the fire droplet. This place is red, so... I mean, it has to lead to the fire droplet, right? I don't know. We gotta dream dreams, apparently. Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa! What the hell? I don't know what it is, but something... Something's drawing me to it! I can't look away! Whoa. This place just seems so... surreal. What? Suddenly, serene words enter Vaughn's mind. What? Vaughn. Vaughn. Vaughn and Meta. Welcome, human. Welcome, Rashiru. The stone stage awaits you. It awaits your dreams. It awaits your minds. Uh. Vaughn, what are you doing? You can't go by yourself. Uh. Hey, Vaughn, what's going on? You can't go by yourself. You just repeated the same thing, idiot. Uh. Look, Kala, Vaughn is sleeping. Noah, can you hear me? You mustn't awaken Vaughn. Vaughn is dreaming. Dreams mirror the heart. Vaughn is looking into his own heart, and Teague is watching.
baby was born, there was just too much hemorrhaging. If only we had Drake water, then Nora would be alright. With this mist, it would be next to impossible to reach Drake Castle. Vaughn! Vaughn! Vaughn, what are you doing? Don't eavesdrop like that. Welcome home, Vaughn. Village Elder is here, so go pay your respects. Her. Ah, Vaughn, you're such a good child. I'll be going now. Vaughn, take good care of your mother. If only we had Drake water. If only there was no mist. No mist. Her. Don't worry, Vaughn. I was just talking to myself. Your mother will get better. Goo goo ga ga! Vaughn, you're so grown up now. So please, look after me. Vaughn, it's almost dark. Don't go outside the wall now, hurry! Val, Val! Val, I looked all over the village. But I couldn't find him. I couldn't find Vaughn. Just as I thought, Vaughn must have sneaked outside the wall when we weren't looking. Oh no. He must be going to Drake Castle. He must have heard me talking to the village elder. He's going to get Drake water. Wow, can't you wait till the wind changes direction in the morning? If I cannot convince you otherwise, then so be it. I give my permission to open the gate. Oh dear! Vaughn managed to return safely from Drake Castle, but Val was attacked by a Shiru. He survived, but they say his leg will never be the same again. And Nora, oh what a poor family. Vaughn, do not blame yourself for the past. Do not feel guilty. The past cannot be changed. Instead, you must be brave and work to create the future. That is what it means to be human, for humans are those who are brave enough to create their own future. words echo in Vaughn's mind. Vaughn, my child, your dream is fulfilled. Ugh. Oh my god. Vaughn, are you alright? Were you having a bad dream? Kinda. Vaughn, if you don't want to tell us what you were dreaming about, that's okay. Hey! Vaughn, look! A ray of light from the pillar! 
What in the? Von Gala! Someone's there! Whoever it is must be using the light to show himself to us. Maybe that's Teague. Von, let's go look. Okay. Hello? In begin was Teague. Ing was every, then him and two. Those hum Shiru also divide world to human Shiru. Okay, well their words are incomplete. So the pro two play yeah, it's just all incomplete. We gotta keep dreaming in order for them to be complete. Unintelligible speech. Alright. Let's go continue dreaming. There's a third door. Let's pass it. I mean, that was a really sad dream, though. Vaughn's dream. I mean, oh my god. That was fucking sad. Poor Vaughn, man. But, like Teague said, you can't blame yourself for the past. You just gotta keep moving forward. That's what it's all about. Oh, Blue. This must be Gala's dream. Oh, boy. Get ready to dream, Gala. <laughs> I warn you. It, 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 it ain't all sunshine. Here we go, I think we're almost there. Yep. Dude, this is, this is just trippy looking. The blue. Here we are. It's your turn, Gal. Get in there. Suddenly, serene words enter Gala's mind. Gala. Gala. Gala and Oz, welcome human, welcome Rashiru. The stone stage awaits you. It awaits your dreams. It awaits your mind, Gala. Gala! Hey, Gala! Vaughn, Gala's walking away! Jeez. Vaughn, listen, Gala is snoring. <laughs> I'm not surprised. No, can you hear me? You might yeah, it's like the same thing. You mustn't awaken him. He's sleep he's sleeping. Alright. Let's see what his dream is. Gala must be the strongest in all of Byron. He has to be. Sanji can train all he wants, but he can never match Gala's spiritual strength. Silence! It's Master Zopo. Eight years have passed since the mist covered the earth. These are difficult times, but... I am pleased that how hard each of you is devoting yourself to your training. Now... As you all know, tomorrow is a Baryon's Transmigurten Festival. As always, we will hold the Ritual Tournament. Gala! Yes, Master Zopu. Sonja! Yes, Master Zopu. As monks of a Baryon, there are things expected of you. You must fight with all of your skills in order to make this a chivalrous tournament. Yes, yes sir. sir! That is enough training for today. Time to begin your individual tasks. Hey, Gala, that ritual tournament is such a drag, eh? Hey, I don't like that look in your eyes. Gala, I bet you think you are going to win, don't you? No, I... To hell with you! I'm not stupid, I can tell by that look in your eyes. Hmm. Ah, forget it. Let's just have ourselves a good time tomorrow, alright? 
<laughs> but Sanji, tomorrow is the tournament. If you take Jingle Grass, your body will go numb and you won't be able to fight. Mind your own business. I can't take this headache anymore. Besides, everyone knows that Jingle Grass is the best thing for a headache. So quit yapping and just give me the Jingle Grass now. Alright, but don't blame me if things go wrong. Sanji, do you want water? No! I'm going to take this after I go back to my room. Ogala? This is so embarrassing, but... I was afraid that you'd beat me tomorrow, and... I knew I shouldn't, but I took Fury Boost to help me fight better tomorrow. But as soon as I took them, I started feeling guilty. I felt self-loathing. So here, you take a Fury Boost too. But why? This is a contest. So we gotta be fair, right? And I want this to be a fair fight. So go ahead, take it. Well, I don't know. Alright, I'll do it. Pretty good. You just gulped that right down. <laughs> okay, let's go. Gala, Sanji, are you ready? In praise of the great benevolence and the miracles of Bayan, we hold this ritual tournament. Let the tournament begin! What's the matter, Gala? Are you scared? Fight me! Uh... Come on, Gala. It only took a matter of seconds. Gala lost. I don't believe it. <laughs> That's right. I beat Gala. Me, Sanji, I win. Sanji, you made Gala take the jingle grass, didn't you? I'll be quiet. How should I know what medicine he takes anyway? Stop playing dumb. You may think you've tricked Gala. But he knew. He knew all along. What? I told him. I told him that I gave you the jingle grass. I warned him not to take any medicine you gave him. But Gala just laughed. Oh, Sanji's my best friend. Don't worry, he said. Gala! Darn it! He's sleeping. He's still numb. Kala, you think you're clever, don't you? You, th you think you let me win? You're so arrogant. You think it's funny to make a fool of me like that? Some best friend, you hypocrite. You'll never get away with this, never. I'll crush you, Gala. I'll beat you to a pulp.
Gala, you did your best. You have nothing to be ashamed of. After all, even when unavoidable misfortunes occur, it is the spirit that remains in the end. So be proud of yourself, and use that pride to create happiness. That is what it means to be human, for humans are those who create their own happiness with their pride. Jeez, man. The words echo in Gala's mind. Gala, my child, your dream is fulfilled. Gala, you seem sad. I would be too after that. In my dream, I remembered something I didn't want to. Vaughn, Gala, there it is again, the light! That light is called the Phantismal Light. It is activated by your dreams. Phantismal Light? Vaughn, Gala, that's neat! This is fun! Ozma, you've heard of it before? What? Now, why would a Rashiru like you know about the Phantismal Light? Why? Well, I... Tell me about it if you know. Or are the Rashiru trying to manipulate us for some purpose? Oh jeez, Gala. No, th that's not it at all. Gala, you must believe me. We just wanted to talk to your minds, rather than explaining things with words. Well, if talking is that disagreeable to you, do what you must. But listen, Ozma. If your intentions ever diverge from mine, then believe me, you won't get away with it. Jeez. What are you so angry about, Gala? I don't understand. Boo-hoo! Come on, Vaughn. We have to have the last dream. Yeah, it's yours, Noah. Alright, let's do this. I'm guessing their words are probably still vastly incomplete. Alright. Yep, it's green, it's Noah's dream, oh ho boy. This should be interesting, shouldn't it? God, they gotta make these hallways so long. And the structure isn't even that big. Here we go. Alright. Whoa. I like how the roof is blue and then it's like green like grass. That's pretty cool. Oh boy, here we go. Suddenly serene words enter Noah's mind. Noah. Noah. Noah and Terra. Welcome, human. Welcome, Rashir. The stone stage awaits you. It awaits your dreams. It awaits your mind, Noah. Oh boy. Uh, Gala, <laughs> you know what's going on. Noah, what's wrong? Noah, where are you going? There she goes. Fawn, listen. You can tell by Noah's breathing. She's sound asleep. Gala, Noah is being drawn into the Teague spirit world. She's going to have an important dream now. Noah. I'm thinking of naming this child Noah. That's a lovely name. Noah, the promise of a new era. Yes, a new era of prosperity and hope. 
That is what this child represents. Your Majesty... Your Majesty, I've come on a most pressing matter. Jetty, enter. I trust Her Majesty is in good spirits? Actually... What? Court did that? You see, Your Majesty... I understand. I'll go at once. Did something happen to Court? It's... it's nothing to worry about. I'm sure. I can't talk now. I'm going below to investigate the matter for myself. Noah, Concram's future, your future. Noah, I want you to have a happy, prosperous future. It's the mist! Get rid of the Shiru! Lock the doors! <laughs> Courageous soldiers of Sorn, this town of Concram will soon die. I care nothing of my own life. Let the mist take it! After all, I am the queen. I must share the same fate as this nation. But this newly born child, Noah, I want her to see the future. Please, take this child to a land untouched by the mist. Take her to a world with a future, please! Your Majesty, your courage is inspiring. I will take Noah as far as I can, however far that may be. Thank you. Now hurry, the mist is getting closer. Your Majesty. Go now, hurry, the mist draws near. So your name is Noah? How do you do, Noah? I am Tara. I have decided to live with you. Noah, young victim of the whims of fate. The past etched in your mind is now revealed. The pain of your past may have left large scars and may gnaw at your heart. But never lose hope, for when there is hope, you can draw strength from the past. That is what being human is all about. For humans are those who, with hope in their hearts, find the future through the past. The words echo in Noah's mind. Noah, my child, your dream is fulfilled.
Now that was trippy. I mean, jeez. Noah, are you alright? Uh-huh. Fine, Gala. Let's go to Concram after we destroy the floating castle. Someone is waiting for me in Concram. Someone who knows me. So we have to go to Concram, okay? Do you promise? So that means we're all finished dreaming? Yep. Oh boy. Serene words echo in their minds. You did well, my children. Your dreams are now all fulfilled, and our souls are recalled to life. We shall teach you the past. We shall teach you the future. That is Teague's gift. That is the mission of Teague. The Shiro human. Both Shiro and human. What? Teague is Shiro and human combined? Look, it's Teague. I can see Teague clearly now. I can see Teague clearly now. Teague? Both Shiro and human? In the beginning, there was Teague, and Teague was everything. Then Teague divided himself into two. Those were human and Shiru. Teague also divided the world into two, the human world and the Shiru Kai. To protect two worlds, Teague placed ten Genesis trees in the human world and a mother Genesis tree in the Shiru Kai. To govern Shiru Kai, Teague chose a small group of Shiru and gave them special Rashiru power. A thousand years ago, by the human calendar, the Rashiru Rogue plotted behind Teague's back. Rogue gave the human Shiru, but humans coveted the Shiru's power, bringing chaos to the human world. Teague learned of the plot of the Rashiru Rogue and sealed him in the eternal dungeon of Rogue. But a few Shiru in the human world were left to serve humans who had built civilization with the Shiru. The mist is the breath of the evil Rogue, but the mist covering Lagaya was created by humans. Teague sealed the Rashiru into the human world's Genesis trees, and he ordered them help the compassionate humans save the world if a rogue or other evil presence should appear. Did Teague tell you everything? Yes, he did. Oh my god, the revelations! Vaughn, Noah, Gala. Do the three of you now understand the Shiru, the Ra Shiru, and Teague? Yes. Teague knows all. Now Teague will entrust you with the Fire Droplet. The Fire Droplet. From an age when chaos was the world, and the world was chaos. The Fire Droplet is chaos, and chaos is the Fire Droplet. Teague, the pure, the perfect being, Shiro human, who is of spirit only. He shall now answer the hopes of human and Rashiru by opening the door to his world here and now. Von Gala! I'm scared! We must make room for Teague. Yeah, let's get out of the way. Let the fucking entities work. So Teague is pretty much God, basically. We're like, talking to God. <laughs> That's a little insane. Look, humans, Teague has brought the two worlds together into one. Chaos is summoned. Fire Droplet is chaos. Teague now returns to chaos. Oh boy. Jeez, all this just for the Fire Droplet. Bye, Teague! Teague's gone! Whoa! 
Oh! Holy shit! Humans, take the fire droplet. There it is! Teague has left the humans with his knowledge. Bond, use your courage. Gala, use your pride. Noah, use your hope. These three things, knowledge will create the future. Never forget that. Dream? That was all a dream? No, Gala! Look! It's the fire droplet! Bond now has the fire drop. All right. Thank you, Teague. I hope we can meet again someday. We did it. Now, Vaughn, we must hurry back to Dr. Usha's laboratory. Right. Well, you know where we're really heading first. Because <laughs> look, guys, ready? Okay, gonna give this to him instead of the evil god icon for now. Uh, fire droplet. AP remains at 100. Bada boom. Yeah, that's right. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, gee. <laughs> oh, fucking P. Alright, let's get out of here. Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? What's this? Is this the world of Teague again? No, that's not Teague! Look, the whole forest is shaking! What the hell's going on? Noah, that is a Shiru that doesn't belong on the surface. It's an evil Sim Shiru juggernaut. No fucking way that big ass thing's coming toward us! Are you joking me? Juggernaut? We must run away now! Vaughn, it's too dangerous! The only thing we can do is flee! Let's get the fuck out of here! Oh no! It must be coming to destroy Euromias! Oh no! Oh god! JESUS! And then it just vanishes? Oh, how do, uh, uh, your Amias is all destroyed. Now we can never borrow the power of Teague again. The enemy, the Miss Henchman, must have felt the words of Teague. Teague was an obstacle to their goal. That's why they unleashed Juggernaut on this holy place. But we still have the fire droplet that Teague gave us. Yeah. Come on, everyone. Let's teach those henchmen of the mist a good lesson. Damn straight. Yeah, let's teach them a lesson. Let's get them real good. <laughs> what? She's been here the whole time. What are you having a party? With a monster like that on the loose? Kara, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, that's a fine how do you do. I can do whatever I want, wherever I want. Hey, Kara. Why don't you give us that egg of a Rashiru you have? Egg of a Rashiru? Oh, you mean this Rashiru egg. Hmm. Okay. What? No joke? What? 
Yay! Hooray! Let me have it! I want it! I want the egg! <laughs> Wait, I'm not going to give this Rashiro egg to you for nothing. I knew it. If you awaken Buma's Genesis tree, like you did the one in Seoul, then I'll give you my Rashiro egg as a reward. Well, cool, that's what we plan to do anyway. <laughs> that was your plan from the very beginning! Well, get to it, kids. Uh Car, wait! Tell me why. Why do you want us to awaken Boomer's Genesis tree? Because she's from there, Gala, obviously. Well, if I said it was for love, little kids like you wouldn't understand anyway. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Fawn, what's love? Does it have something to do with the Genesis tree? Oh, jeez. Um, you're still too young to know, no. Fawn, you're so mean! I don't care anyway. I'll figure it out on my own. Hurry, both of you. We have to deliver the fire droplet to Dr. Usha. Right. I mean, it's really a shame about your minds. We're, we're lucky that shit didn't happen while we were in there dreaming. I mean, that would have sucked. Oh my god, the mist. Yeah, the mist is here now. Oh, jeez. This is a shame. And Shiru! Oh god! Oh my god, what the... Nerga and a boogie pump? Are you kidding me? With those names. Alright, it's Gola Gola. Uh... The... Uh, not Spoon, what am I doing? Uh, Virgo, okay. Just taking him out with magic, I don't care. Maybe this will kill him. No, I don't think so. Damn. Hey, his magic level increased at least. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh, nice job, Noah. All right, let's skedaddle before more Shiro will jump us. Well, it wasn't a sh those weren't Shiro; those were monsters. But you know, either way, it's really a shame about your demise, though. I mean, Jesus, those damn henchmen, those damn henchmen. All right, well, we did it. I mean, this was one doozy of an episode, everybody. But if you stuck around, I mean, I think it was worth it because those were some trippy, revelational dreams, and we got the fire droplet. So in the next one, um, in between episodes, we're going to do some training. I mean, for sure. Get Von to like 30 at least, or maybe 31, I don't know. And then we're heading over to the Muscle Dome, guys, in Seoul with the uh, Fire Droplet, and we're going to go in the tournament. All right, that's what we're going to do in the next one, guys. So uh, stick around for that. This has been Ragebox. Hope you enjoyed this crazy, trippy, dreamy episode, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Later.